It does seem, if you listen to President-elect Obama and his priorities, first of all, there are a lot of them. Uh, and second, every time I hear him list them, education seems to be falling further down the line. You've got this big stimulus bill, and we're going to do a lot of green energy in the stimulus bill, and we've got to do uh, universal health care because those people are getting clobbered by the, the, uh, the economic problems uh, that we have right now. We all know that governments like businesses can't have too many strategic priorities at the same time or they just won't get done. Are you really optimistic that this is going to be the moment at which uh, the education problem finally gets addressed? No. I mean, Alan, we've gone to the one very good thing about President-elect Obama is in, 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 the, in the campaign he did not declare himself the education president, which <laughs> four other presidents <laughs> had, did declare themselves in the course of uh, their campaigns, and, and as a result, we, we really didn't change much. Um, look, I, 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 I think I think that at some point I'm hopeful that he and others in Washington will come to see that at the end of the day, if we don't have an educated workforce, then none of these other things are going to get solved. Health care is going to get worse. Uh, civil society is going to get worse. Uh, the, um, the issue of Social Security obligations will get worse, and our economic competitiveness will get worse. I mean, I, what, what, I, what I would love to see, what I would love to see is, is for, sec, for, for, for um, President-elect Obama, uh, much like he's put a, um, you know, a Today he created, a, or yesterday, an energy czar in the White House, and he's created an economic czar with Larry Summers. We need a skills czar in the White House. We need to think deeply about the skills that we have in the American economy. All right, that's three things. That's public school education, it's job retraining for people losing their work, and it's immigration. immigration. And those three things are so critical to maintaining the economic vitality of this country, and quite frankly, we won't be able to pay for all the things we want to do if we don't have a great economy. And we have a skills challenge that is as big to me as anything we face, and all three of those areas need to be addressed. And if we think about it in terms of skills, and as, and as terrifically eloquent as he is, I mean, he's so eloquent about things, I think I think he could create some momentum. Uh, but I think, quite frankly, people are just tired of the old, are we still talking about public schools? God, let's talk about something else because it's, we haven't made any progress. So if we can re, reconceptualize the public school issue around a broader issue like skills, uh, I think we might, we might get some more momentum.